So today's video is going to be about a repair on a uh, 1971 uh, early Beetle. It's a classic Beetle, and this is the front frame. What we're going to be doing is a small repair on here. Uh, it failed the MOT because of this structure. So first thing we're going to be doing is making a panel for that. Obviously cleaning it all up, and then making a panel and welding it. In. So having found myself a piece of steel, uh, what I've used is that, uh, that old cutting disc that looks to be about the same curvature as the beam. So I've transferred that onto there, drawn around it, and that's going to be my first cut. So using the snips, what I've done is basically cut that shape out place it in there for a test fit and I don't think that's too far off at all it probably will go into that arch just a little bit too big you can see got some forward and backward moment so what we're going to need to do now is cut across this section and then trim it to size so once we trim it to size and then clean it up and begin welding so having taken this corner off, as you can see we probably, obviously we've got a, a little bit extra length here which we're going to fold around, we're going to use that section over there and weld that into there, obviously that's the bump stop, uh, but that's fairly thick. So what we're going to do is just trim it around a little bit more, or file it off, profile this so it bends over, same at the other side and make sure everything fits in there tightly before we start welding. So we've now cleaned out our section there with our detail sander. Good little tool this, uh, it's a Clark one. You can get other variations, I think I got this from a team mark. Uh, you can buy different grades of paper that go on the little uh, sanding area there. Uh, you can buy specific low ones, specific ones for metal, which is what I have done. Uh, halfway into position allow me to clean it up a little bit and then do a little bit on the loop at the bottom Like to have, uh, have attempted this on the car, that would have been very, very difficult. Right, so we've now got that in place. What we need to do, we need to bend the corners over. So now 
now we've bent the corners over I'm not sure if you can see that with the camera yeah just there so what we've done is bent that corner over and what we're going to do is go around the edge of that and that will give us additional strength So that's that side done. I'm going to flip the beam over, and then once I flip the beam over, I'm going to weld the other side, and then obviously we clean it all afterwards. So we've got it all welded up, both sides, still a bit warm. And then we notice that this has broke off on the bump stop. So as you can see, we've got one here that stops the, the arm going in one direction, and now we've got this one on the other side. So that looks like it's going to be nut is possibly welded in, bolts uh, snapped off inside and underneath I can just feel the remnants of the old bolt. So that's what we have to undertake next. Another way I found out that when I put the spanner on this, that does come off. I think that must be the locking nut. But as you can see, we've still got the uh, thread in there. I think it's going to be out with a penetrating oil. Uh, well, in there, but the other end's in there. We've got a little bit of bolt protruding through, so we know that it's it's locked into this area at the back. We've got a nut welded in there, I would assume, and then we've got that there. So we've got two options. Either we can put a nut on it, or weld a nut to it in the hope that it will release, or we can grind the top off and re drill it and re tap it. Uh, I think we'll try the penetrating oil first and see how we go. Right, so we've come back to it after a couple of hours of uh, penetrating oil and no movement. So, what I've decided to do is put this nut back on the thread, different one this time, and what I'm going to try to do is to weld the nut to the remnants of what's left inside of the bolt. Obviously as that gets hot it should make the bolt that's left in easier to remove. Time will tell. Grind that top off, 
re-drill the porthole and obviously re-tap it. So that's our next step. just going to punch it and then once we've punched it we can start drilling it out. So enable us to get the hole to the right side. We started off with a fairly small drill and then moved up to something a couple of millimetre larger. Third step, got this one. This isn't quite big enough. So we moved it to this size and this is the correct size for the third drill we're going to cut into it. So that will go into there and allow us to clear into the drill. That's it. So that is the correct size. It's about 0.5mm uh, mm less than the tap set. So we're going to move on to our tap now and remove the rest of that so we're going to put it through. The size that we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking it out to an M8. So the M8 is used throughout the uh, so you'll find that to do by a tap set the yeah, mate is probably the one that you can be using the most of it's going in quite easily you can set that just before it snaps we'll take it in a bit and then we'll get back to clear the seat I don't know if I'm just cleaning out the threads of the old, uh, the old nut that's in there. At the moment I've got a ratchet one, so I could be using the ratchet to do it. But ratchet's okay to bring it out. It's easy until you get to that point where it's still cutting. So, at the moment, it's still cutting it through. some tension in there so I think what I might do is change from this ratchet fitting to the uh, the T-bar. T-bars give you a bit more clearance but you don't want to draw back with the T-bar because it may not be able to get to swing it. Not on it, this application actually
to be almost through. I can see uh, where the thread has been cut. I can see where it's not been cut. different bolts in this to adjust the bump, uh, steering stop, it's called a bump stop, that looks like. So we've now painted the repair, as you can see, uh, we will be painting the full beam anyway, uh, probably using the right uh, bits of paint. Uh, I'm going to try and clean off as much of this uh, rust and uh, loose rust anyway as we can before we reassemble it. So after painting the whole beam, uh, this is where the repair took place, just here. Did find a ruler repair area that we had to uh, plate in, I'm just about to see the line there. Uh, that's the beam repaired, I'm going to use 